Welcome to Linux L tutorial. I am going to explain about how to install Yes Backup in Ubuntu. Yes Backup is a simple backup, open source, easy to use backup solution that is intended for desktop. It can backup any subset of files and folders in the system, and all the configuration files are accessible through the genome interface and files and the folder paths can be included or excluded directly using the regex. It supports local as well as the remote backups. It also has the advanced backup utility. You can create both compressed and uncompressed backup using the simple backup. And you can also split the uncompressed backup into multiple parts. And you can schedule your backups and also we can manually set up the backups. Now we can see the installation of simple backup. To install the S yes backup, we need to run the following command apt-get install s yes backup. Now give enter. Now give s to download and install the package. This will take some time. Now the simple backup tool is installed. Now we can open the simple backup tool. Now click the unity dash and now search simple backup now here you can see the simple backup con configuration and restoration now we need to select the simple backup configuration for admins now enter the administrative password now here you can see there is no backup profile that is created first you need to create the backup profile now click close now we can configure the simple backup you can select give the number of days that the system has to take a full backup this is seven days and if you want to mention the compression format you can mention here i am going to give gzip format if you are not mentioning the uncompressed backup you can split the backup into several chunks i am giving gzip and you can add the files and folders that you need to take backup in the included files and directories and if you want to exclude any files and directories, you can exclude here and you can exclude using the file types, regular expression and also exclude using the file size. That is, if the file size is bigger than the specified MB, the backup will not be taken. And here's the destination path. The, the default destination path is var backup and the schedule you can schedule your backups using this the default is simple and the backup is taken daily and if you want to delete the backups every 30 days you can select this option if you don't want to delete your old backups you can deselect this and report is also generated while taking backup and the log file directory is the s yes backup you can mail your report by giving your mail id smtp server and port number now click the profile manager now give us to save the configuration that you have done now now click add to add the new profile i am giving linux help as the profile name and give ok now we can see how to take backup now click make a backup now and give us if you want to take a full backup you can take this full backup now give us and close now here you can see the backup process that is now you can see the backup is taken and it is processing now now the backup is completed now we can view the backup file in the location where backup and list the files now here you can see the backup in this way you can create your own backups using the simple backup tool Simple backup tool is successfully installed in Ubuntu. Thank you for watching.